Alright, so I'm going under the assumption that you're going to be able to see this from here. Um, so I, well I suppose I could uh, zoom over here. Um, this is mix for blueberry scones. baking sheet that I have, so uh, I just kind of roll with it. Um, I made this scone recipe up myself um, after adjusting some other recipes, and uh, it comes out to about a cup and three quarters of flour. Um, my recipe says about a half cup of fruit, but I usually put in almost double because sometimes I subsist on blueberry scones, so that's just kind of, you know. <laughs> We got four teaspoons of baking powder. Um, recipe says five tablespoons of sugar, but I just do uh, heaping teaspoons. A lot of the time. The recipe also says um, two thirds of a cup of milk, um, but I'll usually do a shot or two of milk and then uh, put in yogurt until the batter is the consistency that I want. Oh, that one got a lot of blueberries. I usually try and uh, distribute the blueberries as evenly as I can, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work out. The nice thing about putting a little bit too much cooking spray on there is that they scoot over really nice. <laughs> so I might be able to get all the batter on here if I move some of these over. I should have planned ahead. I don't care if they kind of bake together either. That just means I have to take two instead of one. Oh, making a mess. So, uh, I think I listed off all the ingredients. I'll probably post a list with the video. Um, let's see if we can put another one in right here. I still have a lot of batter left in here. I did, uh, I accidentally added extra flour more than I was supposed to. These ones are probably going to bake together, but I would assume you would use the normal size baking sheet, which they actually do fit on. Um, and not just a tiny pizza pan.
You can also try and make uh, better shapes than these. I just kind of make monster looking things. Um, Cause I don't, I make these so often that I don't, I don't really care what they look like. Um, the batter is like thick enough that you can shape them really nicely. So sometimes I would do that, but I'm just making these for myself. So the batter is also delicious. I love baking powder. So I've got a preheated oven, preheated to 400, it's kind of hotter than a lot of other baked goods. Alright, so yeah, I usually um, put in like this is like an 11 ounce thing of blueberries. I used about half of it. They've kind of rolled over, so it looks like I only used a third of it, but I did use about half. Um, I was able to scrape out almost all the batter, so yeah, that's, this is gonna go in for about 11 minutes. So I'll check the time, all right. And well, 12 to 15. I usually put it in for 11 because I like them to be a little bit uh, less cooked because there's there's no egg so there's nothing that like needs to be cooked for them to uh, be eaten so um, but 12 to 15 is the standard at 400 I don't know if you can actually see the 400 here yeah, there you go so that is uh, bacon scones Enjoy.